We are here in Maynard Town Hall, Maynard, Massachusetts, in August of 2012, and what you're looking at here is a, a little plaque here announcing that Maynard was 100th uh, town or city in Massachusetts to adopt a stretch code, part of the Green Communities Project. The stretch codes are those that make it very expensive to build, uh, other, also known as green codes, uh, conforming with the Agenda 21 guidelines. While uh, Maynard may not be a member of ICLE, the International Council of Local Environmental Initiatives, since it's a Massachusetts green community, it, uh, it may be using ICLE software, or at least um, going by guidelines set up by ICLE. And um, right now there's about 111 towns and cities in Massachusetts that belong to green communities, although only about 28 or so formal ICLE members and you see here the map and you can actually go to the uh, Massachusetts Green Communities gov and see if your town in Massachusetts is one of these and uh, work to get out of it well it's obviously a good thing to preserve uh, land and the environment this is not doing that folks this is causing restrictions and um, smart uh, growth areas that will really uh, become very unsustainable in their own definition so I'd look into it Look into organizations uh, like the John Birch Society that are fighting this around the country, jbs.org, uh, and many other resources on Facebook. You have uh, Stop UN Agenda 21, Stop the ICLEI, great resources, videos, and what have you. And uh, if you're interested in contacting me, and I live right here in Boston, uh, in Massachusetts, and I've been working in pretty much the northeast and midwest helping people understand this and oppose it. Uh, Hal Shirtliff, and you can contact me right on this uh, YouTube posting. And by the way, Maynard is uh, a nice little sort of blue collar suburban town. It's about maybe 25 miles west of Boston, just next to Concord, Massachusetts. A lot of history here. And this, as you see, this whole region has bought into this um, green communities, unfortunately.